Greetings, America, and welcome to this significant electoral debate between our two esteemed candidates. First, from the Commonwealth of Virginia, Morton Abernathy. Hello, America. And from the great state of Montana, Jillian Worthington. Happy to be here, sir. With the election creeping closer, we wanted to make sure the country knows where each of you stand on all the important issues. Well, Dirk, I'm sure that you'll see that we don't agree on much. And that one of us is on the right side of the issues. Well, it looks like we're in for quite an evening. But before the fireworks get started, I thought we'd begin the night with a bit of fun. I'm going to start with a lighthearted question. I'm ready for anything. As am I. Okay, here we go. Mr. Abernathy, how do you make your peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Thank you for asking, Dirk. I spread the peanut butter on one piece of bread. I spread the jelly on the other. You smush them together, and then cut it in half, down the middle, just like every other human being on this planet. If that planet is Mars, let me ask you this, Mr. Abernathy. Where do you wipe your knife? I beg your pardon? After you spread your peanut butter, where do you wipe your knife? On the other piece of bread, before I spread the jelly. And where do you wipe it after you spread the jelly? I'm not sure what you're insinuating here. I'm saying that you do not represent the most of our registered voters. Everyone knows that you spread the peanut butter on one piece of bread, wipe the knife on the other piece, and then spread the jelly on top of the peanut butter so you can wipe the knife on the other piece of bread again. And who cuts the sandwich down the middle? It's always diagonally. Always. Wow, that is quite the assertion. What is your response, Mr. Abernathy? It's obvious that my opponent is an advocate for the premature mixing of ingredients. If you spread the peanut butter and jelly on the same slice of bread, they are mixing before necessary, and it results in an uneven blend. Keeping them on separate slices, the optimum balance between the peanut butter and the jelly is achieved. And please, diagonally, are we still in kindergarten? My opponent wouldn't know a peanut butter and jelly sandwich from a bologna sandwich. Optimum balance, please. It's the mixing of the peanut butter and the jelly while you spread it that maximizes the flavors of both. Optimum balance. Maximum flavor. Down the middle. Diagonally. Kindergartner. I bet you cut off your crust. You leave my crust out of this. Well, you clearly leave it out of your sandwich. <sighs> Some people don't like the crust, and there's nothing wrong with that. My platform has room for crusters and no crusters alike. If I'm elected, you can have your crust any way you like it. And if I'm elected, you can be assured that the tradition of peanut butter and jelly sandwich making will be maintained. <laughs> well, uh, that is quite the spirited debate. I thought that was going to be an easy question. I'm glad I didn't ask you something more controversial, like when is the proper time to start listening to Christmas music? <laughs> November 1st, as soon as Halloween is done. Oh, please. How about we finish Thanksgiving before we start with Christmas music? Thanksgiving is literally just a As you can see, we have quite an evening ahead of us. We'll be back after this message from our sponsor. Anyway, we'll, we'll be right back.